Channel Legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to talk about uh, a YouTube channel, Dev and Sia, and they, I was doing a live stream last night, and they offered to make me an intro slash outro video. I mean, I said, sure, if you want to, and they sent it to me, and this is the intro, and I wanted to show you, I think it's amazing. Now, when I, if I, next time I do an edited video, because a lot of times I just do like a plain one take video, like something like this, but I'm going to add this as intro in there. Um, I don't edit, but I mean, next edited video, the, all the edited videos, I'm going to be including this in, because it's cool. And it serves that you, you can either use it as an intro or an outro. And I wanted to show you, I think they did an amazing job. I want to thank you, Dev and Sia, for making this video. And here's the video. I hope you all like it. Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm with my buddy John. We're at Skinny Nate's Barbecue. I heard about this place way back in uh, March coming about. So it finally came about like, a, I don't know, like a month or so ago. And there's a fi first time going there with my buddy John. We're getting a whole bunch of cool stuff. And there's a history behind this place because I think in like the late 90s, it was, we used to have ice cream places all over. Uh, and then they all closed down and then this opened up they built this place for like 2000 or something like that and there was like an ice cream place here for like a, a couple of years but the kids ran that and it didn't do too well then it closed down then someone else opened it up at last year and it closed down someone else bought it uh ice cream place and then he had some different themes and then i don't know it didn't work and it closed down and then it was closed for a long time and then jody sweet treats opened up and then that was up for a while and then they decided just to run it out of her house so it shut down again and then like about two years later became Ski Nate's Barbecue. That's and we awesome. bought a whole bunch of good stuff. Yep, we got a big variety that yeah. tests out most of our menu. Yeah, I'll try their pulled pork uh, nachos. You know, uh, like a lot of places, it's a, it, uh, what's available depends on how much they have in stock. Yeah. Like with, even I wanted to try your jalapeno poppers. Poppers, yeah, they were so gone. They wrapped in bacon or something. Yeah, wrapped in bacon. Those look really good. By <laughs> me, it's like, but yeah, we are available. Yeah, well, they ran on like two days, so. Yeah. And they have like interact, interactive, not interest, interactive menu that shows when things are low in stock and all this other stuff. So. Yeah, they do. That's a pretty good job. That's, That's I, pretty I like cool. That. I'm like, oh wow, because like I think even today it said those nachos that yeah. were low in stock. Yeah when I checked before I came to pick you up. Oh, yeah, I wanted to get a thing of nachos. So I thought I'd get the pulled pork nachos. That might be the first thing I review. Those yeah, look really I good. I said I'd hush puppies. Yeah, hush puppies. So, see if they're any good. So, we'll be back with some reviews. It's all to go, too. Awesome. Oh, awesome. Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today. Um, I have my buddy John. So we went to Nate's, Skinny Nate's Barbecue. And we got a whole bunch of whole crazy variety of stuff. These are pulled pork nachos. It was six seventy five with pulled pork. I believe that's sour cream. Pew de gallo. There's like well, and there's like onion. There might be a little jalapeno in there, and there's corn in there along with the pulled pork. And got uh, that was six seventy five. Got an order of fresh cut fries for um, three twenty five with ketchup. I got a thing of homemade coleslaw three seventy five. And then I, you know, I shared John with my French fries. And then John shared me. He got hush puppies. I think it's seven with like three seventy-five with the sauce. And I got one bite. So he cut in half. One bite stuff. One with the sauce on it. So let's try the try the hush puppies first. Oh, look at how crispy bread they yeah, are. Yeah, hush puppies are three seventy-five. Yeah, three seventy-five. See, I also got a chicken barbecue for six seventy-five with a little bit of uh, coleslaw. coleslaw. I'll mm. try that later, bro. Mmm, that's good. I'm gonna even without the sauce. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna do the pulled pork and the cheese steak now. Right, with the sauce. Mmm. That's fantastic. Mmm, oh. so good. That's a ton of time, John. You got those are good. I right, french fries out. <laughs> mm 
Those are really good. Another you know, five, that's a 10 out of 10 right there. Try the pulled pork nachos. Okay. You said they had a limited supply of these today? Yeah, that's what I saw on their website oh, wow. before I came to pick you up. That they were getting low. Mmm. Well, the corn stuff is awesome. Boy, I can't quite place what that flavor is mm. for the. Uh, Hush awesome. puppies. Mm. Hush puppies. I thought it was a thousand dollars, but maybe I was wrong. Yeah, but it's a different type than it is. Mm. It's got a different taste to it. It does taste just like thousand dollars. That's really good. It's got a zip from the barbecue sauce. Cool. You can taste the, the corn. The flavor of the corn really comes out. Really, I love. I mean, the corn on the corn chips. These are fantastic. No, it's 10 out of 10 too. Wonderful. Mm. Children of the corn. Mm. The sharks of the corn. Mm. I've taught my friends stuff about sharks of the corn. They said they were going to create a shark race. They call them shark annoyed from the deep instead of human from the deep. Like, <laughs> I'm a horror movie guy. I know what you're referencing. Mm, fantastic. This side of homemade coleslaw. Those are just two guys working there, it's getting Nate and his mom. And she was really nice, she took the orders. Did a very good job of reading back to her orders as well. Yeah. Just checked to make sure she got it right. Mm. You guys lucky to have a good mom like that. I know. That's so cool. And they had like... The little, um, or they had like a little checklist on make sure they had everything on it. I, that's first I've seen that, like a little, to, the check off, they made sure they have everything on there. Yeah, so I checked, I went to use a list and checked, because <laughs> I couldn't remember everything I ordered. Oh, I couldn't either. Let me look at their list here. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, but everything, whoops. Yeah, cold was like a nine out of ten. Everything's fantastic. I really like everything. Alright. That's my review of the four pork nachos along with the french fries and the puss puppy and the coleslaw. <coughs> so until next time, bye please. Take care of my legion. There's a couple more reviews coming up. This one, yeah, I just want to do a little fall video of the nachos. Pretty much, uh, everything covered all the nachos pretty much. So, I mean, it's a lot like that one giant Taco Bell nacho thing I got that was huge for like the party nachos or something like that. You know, I might have covered, like, when after you're done eating it, you know, like, half the nachos didn't have anything on them or anything like that. Pretty much covered all the nachos. I made a mistake. There was no jalapenos on here. They, it could have benefited from a sliced uh, pickled jalapenos, too. But it was good. I mean, and the flavor of the piece of corn really brought, really came about. It was pretty good and very filling. So I got, had these towards the end of the night, just regular ch 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 tortilla chips, so. Until next time, bye, please. Take care, my legion. Okay. I had to follow up at my buddy John's. Jason Callen, your YouTube channel kicks ass. Everyone should go and subscribe to Jason freaking Callen, the hot sauce king pin of them all. Yeah. Action shot. Good job, guys. Good job.